Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Lamori, and in this video I'm gonna go through all the songs on our new album, talk about the lyrics and also play you guys a small acoustic version of each song. So, let's get started. All living, is it dying? I'm born to lose my baby Always giving, never getting I'm born to lose my baby Born to Lose, uh, I know it may sound a bit melodramatic that we're all born to lose and that there's that there would be nothing we could do about it, we just uh, lay down on the ground and hope to die sort of thing, but uh, I, I think it's more in the meaning of we're born to lose because most of us uh, are just chasing the next thing, we're, we're never satisfied, we always need something new to to feel like winners but uh, so as long as we're constantly chasing that horizon we will be born to lose because that's uh, yeah we will never be satisfied silent tears of silver lights come and crawl by my side let us fall and fade out of time We had it all, still wanted more Was everything we were living for Let us fall and fade out of time but The song is... Uh... Because it's about uh, being stuck in a wheel that just goes round and round and uh, you finally realize that you are in that wheel and uh, you're trying to, to break out of it. Mm. And that it's not always that important to, to leave a mark for people to to know you about for ages to come. It's more like living your life here and now and then just uh, fade out of time. They say that heaven ain't for us From grace we're falling Walk through the seven and combust The devil's calling well, there is no hope for us We will all be forever lost Our restless souls turn to dust So they say heaven ain't for us, yeah uh, Hell has always been this, like thing they want to frighten people with, like, if you do this you go to hell, or if you don't do that you will go to hell. So this song is uh, playing a bit with that thing. Uh, also, uh, it's a bit strange, like if you say, I, I don't believe in, in heaven or in God, and they say, oh, then you will go to hell, but if you don't believe in, in heaven or God, you don't believe in hell either, so it's a bit paradoxical and uh, yeah that's a bit a bit what the the song is about come and let me free from the evil inside of me I'll redeem all that follows me from the day into the night now come and let me free from the evil inside of me This, uh, this is a very personal song to me, and uh, 
at first glance this song uh, it would be your run-of-the-mill uh, horror inspired uh, song about some werewolf or Jekyll and Hyde type of uh, person but uh, uh, what's really hiding beneath all that is uh, actually a song about uh, uh, it's a song about depression and uh, addiction and uh, and the dark place you can be dragged into and uh, and in the lyrics uh, they say that uh, that there's no way out of this and this beast can never be tamed, the, the evil that is inside of you. And, uh, and so we, th that is true, but uh, you always have to, to fight back and uh, learn from your mistakes. So uh, even if that evil will always come back, you, you'll be prepared and uh, you just uh, punch back with all you got and... Uh, be prepared for the next time. You, you call my name. I'll make you crave more. Come with me, for there's always room for something. It's crawling in my skin. Feel like a I think uh, this would be the closest you would get to the subconscious uh, workings of my mind because uh, uh, this was the last uh, song on the album that I did the lyrics for and I remember it was about a week I had on to, f to finish the song and I promised Carl at the label I, I, I will have it at the end of this week and uh, I was just stressed out what, what should I write about and uh, and I just hit record and started singing something and uh, then when I listened to it, it sounded quite okay, so so that's what I went with and uh, I did some corrections, but I would say 85% is uh, is from that improvisation, so yeah, I think I'll leave it at that, it's just something from inside of me, yeah. <laughs> Come on, all the evil. Come on out now from the dark. Show me the devil's mark and all the creatures calling. Oh, they call out for your name. You'll scream in vain. The uh, devil's mark, it's uh, something that the devil puts on his devotees, a mark somewhere on the body, and it was usually witches, so uh, that's what the, the title is uh, pointing at. And uh, the witch hunt, it was something that was really big here on the island uh, we, we live on, and it was actually here the, the great witch hunt began in, in the Swedish kingdom 350 years ago, and uh, there were seven women executed here in the trials of uh, witchcraft. So uh, the song is not uh, based particularly on those events, but it has taken a lot of uh, inspiration from these events, uh, especially the people involved in the trials and uh, all the madness uh, surrounding it. I can hear you breathing so far from me There's one heart beating And one set free There was no time To say goodbye But I'm that angel by your side An angel by your side. It's uh, it's it's like a letter from uh, from a person who has uh, gone away and is writing it from the other side to the to the person who's who's left it in our world. And uh, yeah. 
I don't think I need to go into to details here. It's uh, you listen to the song and and you will probably get it. All right. Going down, going down for good. I know, I know we should. Crawling, keep falling down. Never rise, never rise above. I know. I know this love Crawling, keep falling down mm, uh, This song, it's a bit of a follow-up actually to Heaven Ain't For Us uh, It's a bit in the same theme uh, that, uh, that it's mocking heaven a bit, but uh, can't really mock heaven without also mocking hell because they're coexisting. So yeah, it's uh, it's the next step to the to the song Heaven Ain't for Us. So yeah, I don't think I will explain it much more than that. It's uh, in, in the same vein as that one. So yeah, the scientist. This song by by Coldplay. It's uh, it's a song that. Uh, I would say it started a bit the, the band because it was something that I really wanted to do way back before they even was Lamori to do this uh, like rockier version of that song and also have a female vocalist on it. Uh, it was much heavier back then. Now it's uh, I think the poppiest song on our on this album, but. Uh, but I'm really happy we finally got to do this cover, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys would like it. It's uh, a bit different from from the original, and uh, I think that's what's with a good cover. It's not a, a copy of the original; it's something new and innovative. So that was a little bit about the new songs on our new album, and I hope you all like the acoustic sneak peeks of the of the songs, so uh, keep your ears and eyes open for Mola Mori and the new album will be out soon.